What's up guys, Average Tech Guy here and today we are back. Now, as you can see from my screen, I am on the beta. iPad OS or iOS 13, I got that right here on my iPad Pro 11. So, a couple of the features that have stood out the most to me is basically all of them they're they're all good features with the exception of introduction of dark mode which everybody else has had dark mode what they do for dark mode okay got that out of the way but the actual widgets that you get over here customizable on the side you're going to see that right there in the profile i am rocking ios 13 ipad os beta software so we got the we got it on deck this is beta 3 that i'm using now, everything else is pretty much going to be the same. And like I said, disclaimer, some things just still don't work all the way correctly as of yet. But I'm going to show you a few items today that are going to make your life a lot more easy now that iPad OS is available. So let's check them out. So I've done reviews on a lot of these items before, but what I want to do now is kind of backtrack just because with the new operating system that's coming out, you're going to be able to take full advantage of every device that you have now. So first off, a hub. You need a USB Type-C hub, and this is a great one to get. This is an Inatech 8-in-1. I've done a full review on this before, but it's basically gonna give you all of these connectors that uh, are gonna be able to add to your iPad Pro. Now, I'm not gonna do full reviews. Like I said, I've done this before. Before I'll link those below, but basically it connects through USB Type-C and it goes up there. Now, this USB Type-C is a little rigid and it's short. So you may be saying, if I plug this in here, then it's gonna look a little odd, right? Which that is true. It's gonna hang off the side right over there. But the alternative is, you know that handy charging cable that you got with your iPad from the beginning? Plug that in, put that back here, and boom. Now that can sit wherever you want it to and it's kind of out of the way. It gives you that full range with all of these inputs without it hanging off the side over here. Next up is going to be the actual hard drive or the addition to add media or view media, do whatever you want to do from your own hard drives, USB drives, SD cards, everything. Now, SD cards and USB drives, some of those would already work if you had a hub or if you had an adapter. But these types of hard drives, especially like this one from Samsung, 500 gigs, it would not work. Now you plug this in and basically all you're going to do now is you're going to go to your files, which I have my files set up right here in a widget. I just tap on that. And once you go into browse, I'm gonna move the iPad so you can see it. But once you go into browse, boom, Samsung T5 shows up right there. Everything that is on this card is right there. So you get that full access, you get full usage. You can, I have movies on here, so um, you just click on a movie and I really don't wanna go too deep into it, but there it is, pops up and it will actually play in the same quality that you recorded it in. So great addition um, to this operating system and it's gonna come in handy and really help you out in your day-to-day -day life. Next thing with iOS, uh, iPad OS support, you are going to get support for your mouse. Yes, I have two different types here. This one is the Magic Mouse by Apple, of course. And right here, this one is the Silent Touch Mouse from Logitech. Now, the Logitech mouse is not Bluetooth. The Apple one is Bluetooth. So there are only a few of these that work through Bluetooth right now. Um, this one is designed to hook up through a dongle. That's where you would have to have a hub to go along with that because you're gonna plug this right into there and you're gonna get full mouse support right there on that screen. No, no worries, 
no lag, nothing. It works, it's perfect. I'm really enjoying the ability to be able to set that up and use the mouse just because it's it, it makes it more convenient. It makes this thing feel more like a real laptop. And I feel like you're gonna get more productivity out of this now with the addition of this new operating system. So there we go guys, just a brief overview. I'm gonna be doing videos for the next couple of weeks, just showing you the ins and outs of iPad OS or iOS 13. And I'm gonna be giving you little tips and tricks and showing you devices that are gonna make your life a whole lot easier using this new operating system. So hopefully this is able to help someone out. Until next time, be sure and give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe, Average Tech Guy out. Peace.